Today, I have a Bible story to share with you. The story today is from Luke 17, and it's about when Jesus healed 10 really sick people. For this lesson, I brought some friends to help me. I have 10 animal finger puppets. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I have one more. The lion is Jesus because Narnia. So one day when Jesus was traveling with his disciples, he met 10 very sick people. They had a disease called leprosy. It made their bodies very sick and it gave them sores and owies all over. And because they were so sick, they were not even allowed to be around healthy people. That meant they couldn't be around their friends and they couldn't be around their family. Imagine if you had leprosy and you couldn't be around your mommy or your daddy or your brother or your sister or even your best friend. Having leprosy made these people very, very sad and very, very lonely in addition to being very, very sick. When the sick people saw Jesus. They were so excited. They knew who Jesus was. They knew that he could heal them. They cried out to him, Jesus, Jesus, please have mercy on us. Please, please heal us. Oh, please, 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 please. They wanted to be healed more than anything else in the whole world. And what do you think Jesus did? Jesus didn't heal them right away. First, he asked them to obey. He told the people to go and show themselves to the priest. In Bible times, people who had been healed of leprosy needed to show themselves to the priest so that they could go back and be with their friends and their family. The people still had leprosy, but they trusted in Jesus and left to go see the priest. On their way there, they noticed that their leprosy was gone. They had been healed and they were so excited. They were jumping up and down. They were so happy. Have you ever been so, so, so excited? Have you ever gotten a special, special birthday present that made you so happy and so excited that you jumped up and down? Well, Jesus, gave them an amazing gift. He healed them. And what do you think the people did next? How many do you think came back to say thank you? All of them? Maybe some of them? Just one. Only one came back to say thank you. This person was so filled with thankfulness and joy in his heart that he ran back to Jesus and he sang praises to God in a loud voice and he said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. And Jesus said, I healed 10 people. Where are the other nine? But no one was there except the one that returned. And Jesus said to him, stand up and go. Your faith has made you well. So out of 10 people, how many please the Lord? Only one. All 10 obeyed, but only one pleased the Lord because Jesus cares the most about our hearts. So when you receive good things or receive help from others or from God, say thank you. We can thank God for the sunshine in the morning. We can thank God when he gives us strength to persevere through something really hard. We can say thank you to our mommies when she makes us breakfast, or we can say thank you to our friends when they share with us. So let's do our best to remember to say thank you because a thankful heart 
pleases our amazing and awesome God. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your word and for letting us learn about you today. God, I pray for all of the kiddos who listen to this story. God, I pray that you would give them hearts that know you and love you and want to live for you, God. I pray that you would help us all remember to say thank you for all the good things you bless us with. In your holy name we pray. Amen. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson and I hope you learned a little bit more about Jesus. Thank you for listening. Thank you.